it's a good little spot, Cervantes. Uh, once you punch north, uh, just out of the town, you get into a sort of a maze of uh, tracks. Um, there's some beach access and dunes, so it's a lot of fun. Um, depending on your level of full driving experience, you can stay to the uh, to the tracks. Um, uh, they're relatively firm, um, although I would recommend dropping your tire pressures. Nice spot here, down to the beach. So what are you doing here, Max? We're making a pool so we can all sit in it. A pool? Yeah, it looks pretty impressive. So what's the oh, idea? Are you going to sit in the side? It's a good little family trip, this one. Um, we've met together in Cervantes for some uh, camping for a couple of days um, and then just a bit of exploring up near north of Cervantes and into the sand dunes. So, um, Many of you might have stayed at uh, RAC Cervantes, it's quite a popular caravan site. So, you know, whatever you have, whatever you set up, you know, whether it's a tent, etc., this is a good option. You know, all you need is a full drive. Um, the sand can mix between firm and soft, so uh, just watch your tire pressures. Um, we drop, I dropped mine straight to 12 psi, I didn't want to mess around, but a few of the other guys are running around sort of 14, 15 psi. Um, but yeah, you can, you can jump into the dunes, have a drive around, um, the kids can have a um, I slide down the dunes on their boogie boards, etc. So, yeah, it, it, it offers a bit for everyone. Um, it's definitely worth venturing north. So, um, I'll drop the spot below um, in the description in terms of how you can access the track um, or the beach entry. But, um, yeah, you can pot around. Um, it actually goes right up north to uh, Durian Bay as well. So, if you do want to venture that far, you can. Um, but, yeah, good little spot, a few hours north of Perth. And, um, yeah, look, it's... I haven't actually done a lot of um, full driving around this area, so it's actually um, nice to check it out. Um, quite familiar with um, Wilbinga and surrounding areas, but um, yeah, this is good. Um, and obviously, you, get, you go north again, you sort of hit places like uh, Sandy Cape. So if you are looking for that sort of off-grid location, um, Sandy Cape is great. Uh, the only thing to, I guess, to consider would be, um, you know, long weekends or public holidays. It, it can get really busy. So you do need to arrive early to, to get a spot. Um, yeah, look, that's just a quick one to share with you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.